Hi friends, Tanuki Mama back and I am getting ready to show you World 1-4 on Super Mario 3 tips and tricks and first we're going to go visit Toad's house. So every time you visit Toad's house or you get to play one of the matching games, which I'll show you in a little bit, your items go into your inventory. And I'm playing on the original NES, so for me, I hit the B button and I can access my inventory. And when I select what I want, I press A, but you gotta be careful that you don't accidentally click something that you don't wanna use. And then uh, you can click B to just close your inventory without using anything. Now the inventory is awesome, but it has a limit. So you can only have 28 items in your inventory at any given time. So once you start building up a lot of things, if it gets to a point where your inventory is full, you want to start using some of your items. Otherwise your items will be replaced. So once you have 28, if you get a 29th item, it's going to replace whatever the last thing you got was. So you want to keep up with your inventory and make sure that you're using your items. Now, world uh, level 1-4 is another special level because on every world, there's one level where if you get a certain number of coins, you can make Toad's White Mushroom House appear. And the White Mushroom House has special objects in it that you can't get in Toad's regular Mushroom House. So for this one, you have to get 44 coins in order to make Toad's White Mushroom House appear. And if you do, you get a P-Wing and a P-Wing lets you fly through an entire level. So right now I have 49 coins. So in order to get 44, I need to end with 93 coins or more and I will make Toad's White Mushroom House appear. Now this is a tough level because it's scrolling and you have to be quick and kind of stay to the edge so it's a little nerve-wracking at the same time to make sure that you're not falling off the edge. You want to make sure you stay to the edge because in order to get all the coins, you have to be quick. Now here's where you can rack up a lot of coins. Usually in these blocks you get 10, but if you can be quick about it, then you can maybe sometimes get 11 out of that one block. And there was a hidden one up I just grabbed with my tail. Now this is the trickiest one and this is the one where you either make or break your coins because this one is so high up you really need to get every coin out of that block otherwise you're not gonna make it now I have 90 and if I get these last three oh no Woo! I did it I went back and got that last one got my 93 so you will see toads white mushroom house appear I didn't get my third star, unfortunately, but once you get all three cards, you get a one-up anyway, no matter what shape of card you get. And there's Toad's White Mushroom House. So I'm gonna sign off here. And in my next video with the fortress, you'll see, uh, you know what? Let's do Toad's White Mushroom House now since that's where we just got it. There's my P-Wing. Now I'm gonna sign off and I'll be back in my next video show you how to complete the fortress.